Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about the World Economic Forum, talking about Stella. So on the 24th of May, during the most recent annual World Economic Forum get-together, a number of figures within the DLT and blockchain sphere came together talking about developments surrounding DLT, especially in regards to eco-friendly developments and ESG. So in one segment of the annual meeting, the CEO at Stellar, Daniel Dixon, detailed how Stellar puts itself ahead over other DLTs, especially in regards to it being eco-friendly and how Stellar puts itself ahead over other DLTs. She also mentioned as to how blockchain and DLT technology could be leveraged in a number of protocols around the world, especially in regards to improving scalability, cost effectiveness and enhancing security compared to the usage of legacy systems. It's not. And the question, of course, is which one do you want to live in, right? And the, 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 the point there is really, OK, energy itself is not inherently bad, right? But there's a question, what, is, it, is it used for something valuable. How, how do you guys approach that in terms of the way you think about Well, I think this? there's a couple of things, but the first thing I'll say is that it's important to understand like the baseline, right? And I think that's what Robert gave us in terms of the baseline with respect to certainly the proof of work mechanism. There are other consensus mechanisms, and I think it's important to understand their baseline too. We just worked with PwC, and PwC is putting put together a framework for how to think about it. And you think about it as carbon uh, output and then also an energy usage, and that's how we they, they put together the, the framework that we looked at. And we certainly looked at Stellar to say, well, so what does that mean for us? Um, and we did that not because we think our way is the right way and Bitcoin is the wrong way, but just because I think the baseline and the framework is important to create that uh, notion of transparency and ability for everyone to think about uh, how they can improve things. And so for us, we came, it comes out that the network usage for the year is the equivalent to 33.7, the electricity use from 33.7 homes in the U.S. That was an important factor for us because then you can think about carbon offsets and you can think about how you can do that and working and we're certainly going to work with um, uh, to, to be able to do that with the whole network. But that the important thing is that to not make that value judgment about that one is bad and one is good. It's to say, how can we make all of it better? And whether that's through carbon offset or that's whether that's through putting these brilliant minds that have figured out this amazing technology to work on figuring out how you can do, use this technology and still and make it some more sustainable. And I think that's where we're seeing the industry move. And that's what I think is really great about it. But Lauren, it's, it's that I suppose it's important that those debates exist for some folks because they just need to have that. But the truth of the matter is, if we actually do end up picking a winner, mm. then you sort of eliminate the value of what blockchain mm. was set out to do. Because the whole point is, with the underpinnings of the internet, we actually set it up so that there was interoperability and standards. That's why it's so awesome. That's why we had those two years with the pandemic where we actually got to do Zoom or whatever other platform that you utilize during that. It's because we had interoperability and decentralization. What blockchain set out to do was to do that and to create, to, to eliminate borders. So if we continue to have these battles and there is this one winner that picked, we're going to end up with the exact same content. The, the, the web on the content side, what we have is we have five winners. Do we want that? No. We actually want it so that there's interoperability amongst all of the blockchains, so that we can actually have multi-chain, multi-asset. We can have standards that are created so we mm. can all work in this environment. There doesn't have to be a winner. And in fact, if there does, we end up with the exact same financial system that we have today, which is completely broken. It's, it's so as detailed by Dixon, Stellar puts itself ahead over the vast majority of other DLT networks on the marketplace, especially in cases surrounding its eco-friendly nature where a single transaction validated on Stellar leads to energy consumption amounting to 0 0.222 watts per hour. So the significantly low amounts of energy to actively verify and conduct a transaction on the overarching Stellar network sees the entire Stellar network processing transactions amounting to 24.6 kilowatts of energy. So with the Stellar network being able to process vast amounts of transactions at seemingly low energy costs, this puts itself ahead over the vast majority of other platforms, most notably the Bitcoin network and legacy systems. So with the eco-friendly nature surrounding Stellar's network, this may be an attractive proposition for developers who are seeking to deploy DeFi protocols or cross-border payments. So at the moment, Stellar is one of the most widely utilized networks, especially in cases surrounding cross-border payments, where Stellar is widely used for cross-border payments to a number of regions around the world, most notably Southeast Asia and Africa. And this is also coupled with Stellar becoming a key component within DeFi protocols and Web3 infrastructure, most notably due to the availability of the USDC stablecoin on Stellar and the rolling out of smart contracts on the platform. 
where the rolling out of smart contracts on Stellar will mean that DeFi and Web3 protocols will be enabled more seamlessly and actively. And this is coupled with the availability of USDC, where the availability of USDC coupled with smart contract utility will mean that more developers can take on the benefits surrounding Stellar, especially in the implementation and rolling out of DEXs and also enabling cross-border payments to emerge without the need for a bank. So as well as the innate qualities attached to Stellar, Stellar's eco-friendly nature may make it an ideal proposition for ESG developments around the world, where ESG compliance and initiatives are set to be rolled out by a number of organisations, nations and industries. So with Stellar's highly eco-friendly nature, Stellar could become a key component in enabling and validating ESG developments around the world. So again, another exciting use case surrounding the Stellar network. So as well as the eco-friendly nature surrounding Stellar, Stellar is also involved in a number of real world developments around the world where one such initiative includes the payment processor giant moneygram being set to roll out and implement stellar's blockchain infrastructure into their frameworks where this initiative will see moneygram taking on the benefits surrounding the stellar network to enhance and enable cross-border payments to emerge more seamlessly so moneygram is set to launch on stellar in june of 2022 so the collaboration between moneygram and stellar will see moneygram taking on the benefits surrounding the stellar network especially the availability of the USDC stablecoin and the innate qualities attached to Stellar, which makes it an ideal proposition surrounding cross-border payments, especially Stellar's high finality rates, its high scalability and its cost-effective nature. So MoneyGram again will take on the benefits surrounding Stellar's USDC stablecoin to enhance cross-border payments. So this factor could be extremely bullish and exciting for the overarching Stellar network, as MoneyGram services over 150 million individuals worldwide, especially again surrounding cross-border payments. So this initiative will see the active utility of the Stellar network to enhance and speed up cross-border payments between recipients around the world. So this factor could be extremely bullish and exciting for the overarching Stellar network and for MoneyGram users, as this development will take on the benefits surrounding XLM, where XLM will be a means of validating the sending of funds across borders in the form of the USDC stablecoin. So increases in the demand for XLM in this sense will lead to increases to the price of XLM, especially over the long run, and as more individuals take on the benefits surrounding MoneyGram and Stellar for cross-border payments. So the MoneyGram Stellar collaboration will also see Stellar being used as an on-off ramp for fiat crypto exchanges. So with the vast amounts of individuals who take on the benefits surrounding MoneyGram, especially again surrounding cross-border payments, which will be underpinned by the Stellar network, this will be an exciting proposition for the Stellar network and for XLM token holders, especially over the long run. So with Stellar's involvement in initiatives surrounding cross-border payments by the likes of MoneyGram and also enabling the validation of transactions to various regions around the world, especially to Southeast Asia and Africa. The Stellar Network puts itself ahead over the vast majority of other DLTs and blockchain protocols as it is widely used and is a key component within traditional finance, which may lead to Stellar becoming a more attractive proposition for more developers around the world. So with the eco-friendly nature surrounding Stellar, coupled with the number of innate qualities attached to Stellar, especially in cases surrounding the availability of the USDC stablecoin and the presence of smart contracts, Stellar could become a key component in both traditional finance, DeFi and other real-world use cases and utilities. What are your thoughts on Stellar? Are you bullish on the World Economic Forum talking about Stellar? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan! Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.